So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using the midpoint rule to approximate an integral. The midpoint rule is going to ask us to use the midpoints of values inside of each one of our intervals in order to actually do the approximation or to find the areas. So essentially what we're going to do, I'm going to look at this particular problem, the integral from 0 to 1, the square root of x squared plus 1. And for the sake of teaching, I'm going to draw a picture. Okay. And now this is going to be x squared plus 1. And so consequently, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to take this and I'm going to see at least from the perspective of um, 1 to 5, I'm going to have, which will look something like this. Okay. So we're going to be looking for the area under this curve from 1 to 5, or uh, excuse me, from 0 to 1. Okay. So we're going to go from 0 to 1. And we're going to have five intervals, okay? So basically, we're going to try and break this up into five intervals and then take the midpoint in, in between each interval. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to look at that interval. I've got zero, and then I've got one. And to generate the five intervals, I'm going to take my delta x is going to equal one minus zero divided by five, which equals 0.2, okay? So I'm going to have zero, then 0.2, and then another point two that's going to take me to point four, another point two that's point six, another point two that's point eight. Okay, so that's what my delta x is going to be. My delta x is going to be point two. And now, for purposes of illustration, my midpoints now, I'm going to have the first one's going to be at point one, because that's the midpoint between zero and point two. The second one is going to be at point three. The third one is going to be at point four. The fourth one is going to be at point five. The fifth one is going to be at point six, or excuse me, um, that's not right. First one's at point three, second one's at point three, uh, first is at point one, second is at point three, the third is at point five, the fourth is at point seven, the fifth is going to be at point nine. So those are going to be where I'm going to evaluate my f of x, okay? So what I'm going to look for is I'm going to, to, to use my midpoint rule to do the approximation. I'm going to take, I'm going to go f of 0.1, that's my first midpoint, times delta 1. So that's 0.2, okay? And we've seen this before. We call it f of xi, whatever the sample point is, times delta x, okay? Plus f of now 0.3 times 0.2, plus f of 0.5 times 0.2, plus f of 0.7 times 0.2, plus f of 0.9 times 0.2. So just remembering that f of x is our function x squared, the square root of x squared plus 1, what we end up with when we take this sum is we're going to end up with 5.7331, or approximately 5.7331, okay? So we'll evaluate each, uh, each point, point 0.1 at uh, x squared plus 1 square root, all right? Point 0.3 at the same place, point 0.5, and so on and so forth. So just to review the process here, what we're going to do is first, we're going to break up the interval, right? And the interval is these values here, the 0 to 1. We'll break up the interval into the five different pieces. And how we find that is by finding delta x. So delta x is going to be 1 minus 0 over 5 in this case, okay? Or b minus a over, over n, okay? And so we'll take each one of those, and we're then going to, I basically, I go in and I, uh, I generate a, a number line. Put in my intervals. And because we're using midpoints, I then find the midpoint for each one of those intervals. Finally, I'm going to put that into um, my sum, my summation for the integral or for the uh, area. And I'm going to take f of 0.1 times 0.2, right? Okay, take the function at the midpoint times delta x, and I'll add that up for each value. And that ends up giving me my approximation for the integral.